All right, guys, today's video was sponsored by our friends at Established Titles. And right now they're having a huge Black Friday sale this month with their title packs. You get up to 10% off if you act right now. There's a link down below to their website. Be sure to use my code out of the woods at checkout to get 10% off. Established Titles is a fun and novel way to preserve the natural woodlands of Scotland while helping global reforestation efforts. It is a project based on a historic Scottish custom where landowners are referred to as lards or lords and ladies in English. They also plant a tree with every order and work with global charities like the One Tree Planted and Trees for the Future to support global reforestation efforts. Right now, the first 200 people purchasing the title pack using my link will effectively be next to my plot or within walking distance. So for those of you that act right now, we can build our own little out of the woods kingdom in Scotland. Now this title pack gives you at least one square foot of land on a private estate in Scotland with your plot number and you also get a certificate. Alright guys, I want to thank Established Titles once again for sponsoring today's video. I really appreciate it. This makes a great gift. I got my wife one and also one for both of my parents. So guys, once again, if you support my sponsors, it helps keep me here at the Sawmill making videos for you guys. Alright guys, we're in the 754. Let's head down here to the log yard, get some pine. Another reason I need to get some pine up here is to make room because I got some oak and some poplar coming in in a few days. But I know, before you guys say anything, I need a haircut. I know, I've been saying that for a few days now. I think it's Tuesdays when my appointment is. So I got a barber, and he does something I wish all barbers would do. He's got an app you put on your phone, and you make your appointment by doing that. That saves so much time. I don't know how many hours of my life I have wasted by going to the barber shop and sitting in a chair and waiting for my turn. So for you barbers out there, do what he does. Get that little Ring My Barber app and uh, save people's time because he's making a killing doing it. He stays booked up every week. It takes about a week or two to get in with him. But it's worth the wait because I don't have to wait. That's a good way to put it, I guess. You can grab this little one right here. It looks like an eight footer. Man, that grapple, I tell you what guys, for handling logs, that grapple is hard to beat. I'll take this up to the mill. I'll be right back. Let's go ahead and grab his 10 footer. Take it on up to the mill. Then we'll get to saw. I think that's a 10 footer. What do you guys think? It's definitely not an 8 footer.
right guys, before we start on those other two pine logs, I have two things to do. Number one, get the tracker and go bring up the trash can. Most importantly, number two, is get some coffee. It's been about two hours since I've had my last cup. That's been way too long. It's that time of the year. Looks like we got some Amazon packages on the front steps. I can't remember what I ordered though. But also, somebody asked me the other day down in the comments what I thought about this tracker. This is a 800 model tracker, I believe. I bought this at Bass Pro Shop about a year and a half ago. I'm not gonna do a full review video on this tracker, but I will say this, I like it pretty good. I have no complaints. Might as well check the mail while we're down here. What are you guys doing in there? Get out of there. there but I gotta have my coffee I tell you what I drink coffee all day long can't be without it this is an eight foot white pine it came from a tree service it's not too bad we got some knot clusters here ever probably 20 or so inches two inch knots I've seen a lot worse not too bad diameter down here on the operator's side we're looking at 17 inches down here on the other side the diameter is 17 inches, so not too bad. A nice straight log, that's what you want. No bow, no taper. The only large defect, and it's not really a defect in pine most of the time, are these knots right here, so not too bad. We're gonna be sawing these into one by sixes for shiplap in the barn. I'll be cutting this actually at an inch and an eighth on the thickness. Now somebody asked me about my sawmill, if it factors in the curve, yes it does. It factors in the curve for the blade which is the amount of material that your blade removes when you're cutting a board. So if you don't understand that, if it doesn't make sense to you, think about a circle sawmill. When it makes a cut, it removes a quarter of an inch of material just to make a cut. This band sawmill that I'm running, a Super 70 Wood Miser, it removes an eighth of an inch, and that's based on the thickness of your blade. I'm running an 055 thickness on this blade. So when you take into account the thickness of the blade and the set of the teeth on the blade, that's where you get the curve of your blade. Now on the sawmill, as always, a Joe Main Silver Tip Turbo 7. If you want those blades, friends, give him a phone call. His cell phone number is down in the video description. I can't brag on these blades enough, guys. I tell you, I really like them. Really good blades. I guess you guys can probably tell as much as I talk about them, but people keep asking me. I get emails all the time. Nathan, what kind of blades are you running on your sawmill? I say it in every video. So we'll open this one up, guys, and hopefully it'll be a nice log. And also, for lubrication on the sawmill, I'm running windshield washer fluid with a little bit of that cotton gin oil mixed in with it. It works pretty good. It's not as good as diesel, but until diesel prices go down, that's what I'm probably going to be using for who knows how long. Maybe forever. I don't know. Right now in Tennessee, in northeast Tennessee, diesel is going for about $4.90 a gallon at the gas station. The off-road diesel is still around 440. What are you guys paying where you're at? I'd be interested to know. Oh yeah, two more things here. Two more things, we'll get going, sorry. Well, thank you everybody on Patreon for supporting me here in the channel, I really appreciate it. And in case you haven't noticed, I'm wearing my out of the woods zip up hoodie today. A little shameless promotion here, but if I don't promote myself, nobody else will. If you guys wanna pick this up, it's at farmfocus.com. There's a link down below to that also. It's getting cold and uh, it makes for a pretty good jacket. Me and my wife and Bruno, we all got one.